In almost all of us, language is processed in the left hemisphere. Show me how you can wiggle your fingers. In this test, in which the patient feels little discomfort, Jun Wada of the University of British Columbia first injects a dye opaque to x-rays into the artery supplying blood to the left hemisphere. This shows the route an anesthetic will follow when it is injected during the test. A similar series of x-rays seen from above shows how the dye, and hence the anesthetic, will flow only into the left hemisphere. It is vital the surgeon confirm where speech is located in each patient so that an intended operation to alleviate epilepsy can be safely performed. The test also shows that the left hemisphere controls the right hand. Now I'd like you to count slow and loud to 10 and back to 1. One. Okay. Don't stop counting. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Mm. The left hand remains upright, controlled by the still conscious right hemisphere. Carry on. Speech gradually returns as the anesthetic clears the left hemisphere. One. Although 95% of the population has speech in the left hemisphere, there are exceptions. And for this reason, it is necessary to map the geography of each patient's brain to avoid interfering during surgery with such vital functions as speech and short-term memory. In a second test, a week later, the right hemisphere is anesthetized. Matthew, could you start uh, wiggling your fingers? Keep on wiggling, eh? And look straight ahead. You don't have to look at me. Look straight ahead. Okay? Now start counting loud and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The conscious left hemisphere has retained speech.